Do it through pie mail. But what is pie mail, I hear you ask? Well, basically, it's a pie, a custard pie, and a message. Now, all you need to do is get in touch, tell us who you want to send a pie mail to, what you want to put on the bottom for your message, where they are, and why you want to send it, and all your contact details as well. And we will send your pie mail. Wicked! Now then, we've got a, an example of a pie mail here. It's basically a pie with a message on the bottom. So the message on that one... <laughs> The message on the, 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 message on the bottom of that one is, you weren't expecting that, and neither was I. So if you would like to get in touch, this is what it's I'm like. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> if you would like to send a pie mail to anyone, it's quite nice, this custard. <laughs> Please do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. Email us, the Saturday show at bbc.co.uk, and we can send pies to all of your friends. Wonderful. That's uh, the Saturday show <laughs> at bbc.co.uk, and we will send pie mails to whoever you want. That's right. It's all kicking off next week. Please do get involved. <laughs> I'm going to wash my face. <laughs> oh, 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 Sophie, whoa! Now, congratulations, Harry. Come over to here and get this remote control at the corner of my box there. Right, that's very good. I've got one last job for you, Harry. I want you to press it, and we'll see what happened at feeding time with the elephants. Here we go, Harry. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Come on. We're going to see the Nelly Fence. Well done. Dad. Puts the rain on it. Let's pick up some! I'm sorry, Andy. Well done, Sophie. Well done, congratulations. It's not funny, though. Funny what? the first time, not funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Well done, Sophie. Congratulations. Ah, but I'm not going to get guns because Mary Catherine ain't here, so I'm free. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Oh. I've just heard that she's Go just on, on Mary Catherine! Saturday show, you jump in the tank. Now, I have to Mary say, Catherine, earlier on, we well gave done. you the opportunity oh. last week to name the baby white rhino. Oh. Basil Brush, can you tell us what it is? I love that. I used to run away, my mum used to try and chase me. What a lovely name, Kashka. It didn't look very white to me, though. <laughs> it is a white rhino, is trust it? us. Yeah, feel free I to go a white down rhino. to uh, Whipstead Animal Park and say hello to the yeah. newly named Kashka. I'd like one as a pet. Would you? But that's not Where allowed. would you keep it? In my kitchen. It wouldn't happen, would it? Anyway, welcome to today's Guns GMH, everybody! Whee! And a massive round of applause to Mary Catherine. So, this morning, let me just get this right, a helicopter turned up at your house. You weren't expecting it, and it brought you here live to the Saturday show. How much fun was that? Brilliant. And was the pilot really cool as well? I think it was fine. Yeah, fine, OK, that's good. As long as they know what they're doing, that's the main did thing. You, did you get to fly the helicopter? No. Oh, would you like to fly a helicopter? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to get the chance to fly a helicopter if you win today's Guns GMH, but you are going to get your hands on some top prizes, or possibly, Sophie and Mary Catherine, some guns. OK, it's time for today's Guns GMH. Off we go. <laughs> Sophie doesn't look too happy, does she? Number one, this is Abby from Hampshire. Okay. Good morning, Abby from Hampshire. Oh, Hello, Abby. Is that a gerbil or a hamster? She's got... What's that? What a is hamster. that sticking up of her? It's not a white rhino, I know that much. No, it's a, <laughs> it's a Russian hamster. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Wow, Probably called good. a gozo. Thank you. Right, Mary Catherine, how are you doing? Scared. I could imagine. Would you like to play or pass with the first question? Play. If you'd like to play, good girl. OK, here we go. Answer this right. How many football teams are there in the Premiership? Ten. You're saying ten teams in the Premiership. I'm afraid to say... Well, you got halfway there. It was 20, which means Mary Catherine loses her first life. Off you go. God of guns! We're not worthy. We're not worthy. What number now? This is Ma Mari from London. Hello, Mari. Aww. Oh, she's a cutie. She is. I've got an auntie called Mari. Do you know what we call her? What? Auntie Mari. 
I genuinely do. Right, moving on. Sophie, how are you doing? Uh, I'm afraid to say you've uh, got three lives. We really would love it if you only had one. But are you going to play or pass with this one? I'm going to play. OK. Mari from London asks, what is the lion called in the new animation Madagascar? The lion. What's the name of the lion? Yeah. Lion-o. <laughs> lion -o. That's what you lay on when you're on the pool on holiday, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lion. I hate this game. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> Sophie, I'm afraid to say you've lost your first life. The correct answer <laughs> was Alex. The answer was Alex. The voice is provided by Ben Stiller. Unlucky. Right, we've stopped on number eight, Ooh. which is Ben from Ilkston. What's Ben doing? He's a king golfer, but he looks Are like he's sure? slightly off balance. Have another look. Yeah. He's about to fall over, for sure. Oh. Look at that. He's off. OK, are you going to play or pass with Ben from Ilkston's question? Mary Catherine, you both lost one play? life, you and Sophie. You're going to play, good girl. OK, here we go. <laughs> oh, dear. What's the name of the Beatles' first hit? Is it A, Can't Buy Me Love, or B, Love Me Do? Do you know who the Beatles are? No. There's the first problem. <laughs> I thought as much. Is it, just have a guess, is it A, Can't Buy Me Love, B, Love Me Do, or C, Help? Love Me Do. You're saying Love Me Do. Oh, I'm afraid to say. You got it right. <laughs> And you should buy the Sgt. Pepper album, it's amazing. You are laughing too much, I don't know. Sophie has lost two lives. Sophie has lost two lives. <laughs> right, we're number four. This is Charlotte from Norwich. Yeah. I know a Charlotte from Norwich. It's my old flatmate, that's not her. <laughs> OK, so Charlotte from Norwich has got this question and it's being sent with love to Sophie. The big question is, Thanks, is Sophie going to play? Or is Sophie going to pass? Uh, because she's from Norwich and that's where you're from, I'm going to play. Yeah, we both support Norwich City, don't we? No, we don't. No. Okay. <laughs> well, you should. OK, if you get this wrong, yes. you're going to get gunged. Oh, really? Yeah. For Hilarious. The second, for the second time. If you get this right, then it's going to be one question all and we'll go to a tie-break situation. Well, I've got 13 GCSEs, so hopefully I'll get it right. All right, fingers crossed. How many levels, love? <laughs> Can I ask you one question? Yes. Just one question. Did Jenny Frost ever gun you when you were in the band Precious? <laughs> no, she didn't. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, here we go. This might be a, a world first for you. Sophie, yes? you're playing. If you get it wrong, you will be gunged. I hope your GCSEs covered history. Yeah, they did. I got a B. Oh, here we go, then. Go I hope Sophie's history's teacher's watching. Mr Hughes. What year was Tutankhamun's tomb discovered? Was it A? Was it A, 1857, B, 1899, or C, the year of your birth, 1922? <laughs> As, um, 1857, 1899, or 1922? Let's have a look. 1899. Is it? It is. Ooh. It is. You're saying 1899. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer yeah. is... 1899. 1922. No! No! Sophie is getting gunned. No! In five! Three! Two! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Sweet gunging. Oh! Two weeks on the Saturday show, <laughs> twice you've been gunned. Can we see that again? I want to oh. see Sophie getting gunned one more time. <laughs> Look at that. And I think a massive, massive round of applause for Sophie. She's been great the last two weeks.